Hey there, and welcome to a product preview from Cometa Camera. I'm Shelly, and this is Nick, and today we have our hands on the new Nikon D5600. Yes, we do. This is the latest compact DSLR from Nikon. Now, it's a modest update to the D5500, which you have here, with a few new features, of course, specifically Bluetooth, um, a time-lapse video mode, and upgraded kit lenses as well. Okay, so let's compare this to the D5500, which was released in February 2015. Mm -hmm. The cameras are mostly the same. You can see them side by side here, and they're almost identical. Yeah, they're pretty much exactly identical. <laughs> the only physical difference is that the infrared sensor on the D5600 has been removed, and that's due to the camera's new wireless capabilities. So instead of using an infrared remote, you can use your smartphone, your tablet, or another Bluetooth device, and more on that later. The other noticeable difference is the lens. The D5600 does come body only, mm -hmm. but it also comes bundled with an 18 to 55 millimeter VR lens, yep. an 18 to 140 VR, mm -hmm. or an 18 to 55 VR and 70 to 300 millimeter combo. Yes, and while the 18 to 140 VR is unchanged, the other bundles come with Nikon's new AFP lenses, and those have upgraded pulse autofocus motors for much quieter focusing, and that is a huge help when you're shooting videos. So you won't hear any annoying autofocus noises in the middle of your videos, which is extremely annoying. <laughs> exactly. If you're using the built-in microphone, you won't hear those whirring noises at mm -hmm. all. So are there any other significant changes from the D5500? Uh, well, the biggest update is Bluetooth, which allows you to keep your camera constantly connected to your mobile device. So instead of constantly having to reconnect your camera via Wi-Fi, Every time you want to transfer a photo, the D5600 stays connected to the Nikon SnapBridge app via Bluetooth. So you maintain your connection until you decide to turn it off. And of course, it has Wi-Fi and NFC too, if you prefer one of those methods. So you got some added convenience with the D5600. Now you also mentioned time-lapse video. Yes, uh, the D5600 can record time-lapse video very easily, just like the more advanced D7200. All you need to do is set the interval, and set the shooting time, and then you just hit start, and the camera will do all the rest. Um, it'll put the photos together into a high-speed, high-definition video that perfectly captures the passage of time. So let's go over the specs for the Nikon D5600. It offers a 24.2 megapixel DX format CMOS sensor, plenty of resolution for cropping and large prints. Video is captured in full 1080 60p HD with built-in stereo sound, and a mic jack gives you the option to plug in an external microphone for professional audio. Focusing is handled by a quick, precise 39-point autofocus system, and specific focus points can be easily selected using a 3.2-inch touch vari-angle LCD screen. Plus, you can swipe, pinch, zoom, and navigate menus with the screen, same as a smartphone. The D5600 provides up to five frames per second continuous shooting, so you can capture action sequences, and it offers an ISO range up to 25,600, so you can shoot in dim conditions and still capture quality photos. All this along with built-in HDR, numerous scene modes, improved battery life up to 970 shots, and a massive selection of compatible lenses, and that adds up to a pretty darn capable compact DSLR. So the D5600, while not a big leap forward, is a decent upgrade to the D5500, providing extra wireless connectivity, updated kit lenses, and a very cool time-lapse mode. Yeah, honestly, the time-lapse mode is my favorite function. But if that's not of interest to you, the D5600 still is a great entry to mid-level camera. Um, for beginners, it's super easy to use and has very intuitive touchscreen controls. And for advanced users, it has plenty of resolution, excellent image processing, and full manual controls. So you'll have no problem squeezing some very impressive images out of this tiny camera body. So again, the Nikon D5600 is available in a variety of buying options. Mm -hmm. As of now, you can get it body only for $699 or with the 18 to 55 VR AFP lens for $100 more at $799. There's also an 18 to 55 70 to 300 combo kit, as well as a kit that includes the 18 to 140 VR AFS lens. Yes, and of course, you can get any of these D5600 options right now at Cometa.com.